In this Skimp Beginner's Guide, we'll briefly look at the earbrush, the paintbrush and the pencil tools. Now I've grouped these tools together as they are similar and they share the same tool options. But each one is slightly different. So first I'll select the airbrush. And as you can see, the airbrush is quite opaque and thin and very soft edged. And now I'll use the paintbrush. The paintbrush is a bit wider, a lot darker, but it's still soft edged. And now the pencil. And you can see there that the pencil tool is wider again and very hard edged. Now by default these tools usually use your foreground colour. And to change their colour, you simply change your foreground colour in your toolbox. So now I'll show you how to change the brush type and its size. I'm going to use the pencil tool, but these options are the same for both the paint and airbrush too. Now underneath your toolbox is your tool options box. And if you look down your tool options box, you'll find the word brush. And this is where you can change the type of brush that's selected. The icon or picture shows you the currently selected brush. And when you click on it, the brush menu will open. Now to change your brush, you simply click on another one. For example, I'll click on the star brush. And so the star is now my selected brush. Now underneath the brush option is the size option. And this is where you can increase or decrease the size of your brush. And you simply use the arrow rollers at the end to increase or decrease. Now that's just the basic information about them for GIMP beginners. But if you have any problems or suggestions, please just leave a comment.